Hey guys, Marissa here, and first of all, my channel's not done. Pretty much, I've been busy with cross-country training and classes, and because of that, I've had like no time to record and post stuff on my YouTube channel. However, I've made the decision to record my cross-country meets, which includes commentary, uh, some racing footage, and some post-commentary stuff, and yeah, every other week. So to catch y'all up on the training I've been doing, after the Shamrock Shuffle, I took about a week off, and then I... Uh, and then I went back into the training. Trained on my own uh, until July, and then we did a time trial uh, with a few of the other guys that are that were joining the cross country team. I was able to run a 5K PR of 2104, which is pretty nice considering I, I was training on my own. Uh, and then after that, we went. We did a lot of summer training. We went to Waterfall Glen, Swallow Cliff bunch of force preserves so that we could get in shape for cross country. My mileage built up a ton. Uh, anyways, we kept doing that till late August and then our first race was September 2nd. It was a 5k and I hit a time of 2209, which is one of my slower 5k's, but as a start to the season, that was actually a pretty good sign. Since last year, I did die out in the 6k and the fact that I didn't die out on this one and I felt really strong after and I didn't feel super winded means that I was in shape, I just needed the speed. Anyways, yesterday on the 16th, we actually had a meet at in Terra Haute, Terra Haute, Indiana. It was the John McNichols invite, and it was an AK. I think it was I think it was like a bunch of D1 schools. I don't know why a community college was there, but we raced there. And um, good news, I did PR in that race from my old cross country PR. A 51 second PR is pretty good. Also, what's also nice is our team's actually bigger now. Uh, last season it was me and two other guys. Now this season we have. Uh, four guys racing actually uh six guys racing you know it, it actually feels like a team now which you know is great unfortunately i don't have a lot of videos of the race or really the meet at all um what i could tell you is what i did wear uh, like gear and stuff and that type of stuff so for yesterday's meet i wore these the uh hoka crescendo xc's these are like some these are like some recently released shoes like a week ago when i bought when i got them i tried looking up reviews and stuff about these shoes all i got was like promotional stuff from hoka so i can tell you from yesterday's meet these are some great spikes i guess a quick review of these these have um obviously they have spikes they have six of them and these have uh like rubber cleats all in the back and all in the front and especially these on the back these clutched it for me um especially going downhill those things really dug uh, dug into the ground also with these they have this foam right here that you see when it compresses it collapses and compresses but then it jumps back up so with each step if you're starting to like get tired and like not running like that if you start running like that that gives you a little extra um bounce but yeah good shoe i'm gonna be wearing it for the rest of my meets um it beats my old nike ones by like a lot um anyways um those shoes along with the better training I've been having and just taking care of myself more. I ran, of course, I ran, I ran the 51 second PR. I know this is just the start. We have two more races of the season and a conference and regionals, but I know that I'm going to, I'm going to keep PRing. It's just a matter of how much I'm going to PR by. If y'all want to see that, make sure you subscribe and um, catch us on September 30th, because that's going to be our next meet. And, um, you know, wish me luck. If y'all like this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next meet.